Hello everybody, how's it going? Um, I just got back from Ulta with my mom. She took me on a little shopping spree, which was really nice of her, but I got really excited because I got so many good new things. I am so excited. I literally feel like a child on Christmas morning, but I thought I would just sit down and kind of show you like a Ulta haul of everything I got. Um, just because some of the things that like, I've repurchased, some of it's new and I'm really excited to try. So I just thought I would sit down and talk about some of the stuff I got. So let's get started because there's a lot in here and I don't even know where to start. Okay, I'm going to start digging. Okay, so I got more dry shampoo. This is from the brand Living Proof. Um, I really like it. It does leave my hair with like kind of a white cast a little bit, but my hair is also really dark. So if I spray it far enough away, kind of get a good layer, let it sit for like 30 seconds, and then go in and rub it out, it really makes your hair feel really clean, but a little gritty, which I like because I have really flat hair. So I like to have it give me some texture. Another thing that I have from this brand is called like a dry blast volume spray that really gives your hair like volume and like texture and you can like make it look all messy i really like that stuff but yeah just had to stock up a more dry shampoo um next thing i got more of my favorite primer this is from Too faced it's the hangover rx primer it's amazing it smells like coconuts it really moisturizes your face and it's just a good base for any foundation i recommend primers all the time even if you're barely wearing foundation I always recommend a primer or at least moisturizing your face before so it just makes your foundation look so much better fresher go on smoother no streaks always use a primer and moisturizer and this one's kind of like a good in-between primer slash moisturizer so I love it all right next didn't know this but Ulta just started carrying Mac in their stores I don't know why that blew my mind but it did um, so I got a couple matte goodies. One of them is something that I'm really excited about. It's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. So basically they're highlighters. This one is in Double Gleam. I was debating between this one or Oh Darling, I think. They both looked amazing, but Oh Darling looked a little too gold for me and I'm pale as can be. So I decided to go with this one. It is so gorgeous. And the matte highlighters seem so weird to me because they're like hard, like they're really firm. But just look at that. Like, I just thought it was so pretty. I'm honestly, I'm going to put some on right now because I'm really excited. I've never had a MAC highlighter before. So, oh, it's like hard, but it has a lot of kick up, which is, oh, <gasps> holy sh Nikes. Oh, my God, that is beautiful. I'm going to put it. So on my shoulders. Oh! Oh my god. That's amazing. I am obsessed with shoulder highlights in the summer. Like, I honestly would take a bath and highlighter in the summer. Um, but my boyfriend always makes fun of me because I put on shoulder highlight and I'm always like, hey. But seriously, this highlighter is crazy. Like, look how much I just made, like, my shoulders glow and like my chin. Wow, I am so excited for the highlighter. Okay, I could talk about that for another 10 minutes, so I'll put it down. All right. Ooh. Also from MAC, I got Velvet Teddy. Classic, classic matte lipstick. I'm actually wearing it right now. I really like it. It's kind of like a darker nude, but it's pretty warm. Little pinky, little beige. It's just a good um, matte neutral beige lipstick, and I'm really excited about it. So I got that. And then they also had a deal where if you got two lipsticks, you got one free. So my mom also got Velvet Teddy, got her on that. But then this one is the one that I got for free. It's called Mangrove. And it's super pretty. I've been looking for like a perfect red-orange lipstick. And I think I just found it. I'm so excited to try that one. This is also in a matte finish, which is perfect. So I'm really excited to try that out. Matte lipsticks are bomb, by the way. A little expensive, but you like can never run through a lipstick. So I think they're like 17 bucks and they'll last you forever. And they're really good. Highly recommend. Also, I got a mini Fix Plus because I love matte Fix, uh, Fix Plus. If you don't know what it is, you can use it as a primer. You can use it as a setting spray. You can use it to wet eyeshadows to make them way more like shiny and pay off. A lot better you can use them for a lot of things also literally again as I'm staring at that highlight I'm in love this next product 
I don't know what I did in my life before this product. Like, I don't know how to take off my makeup without it anymore. Maybe you can call me dramatic. I don't care. I am very dramatic. But this stuff is seriously amazing. It is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. So it's like a balm oil. It's like, I don't know if you can see. It's like a thick oil. And you scoop some up, rub it in your hands, and it kind of melts down. And you just put it all over your face. And it seriously, like, melts your makeup off. And it's really good for, like, even waterproof mascara, any mascara, I'll take it. I'll rub it all in my eyes. It doesn't sting, but it does kind of get in your eyes and you kind of like can't see for a minute. It's the only downside. But I'll go with this. Even if I'm wearing a little bit of makeup, mostly when I'm wearing a lot of makeup, which is a lot of days, I'm going to be honest. But I go and scoop up, wipe it all off. It gets all over my face. When you take some water, wash it off a little bit, and then I go in with my cleanser. But I used to just take off my makeup with straight up makeup wipes. And I would always be like tugging at my eyes, ripping out my eyelashes, like scrubbing off mascara, like made my skin really dry and irritated. And I'll never use makeup wipes again because this stuff is just like so incredible. All right. Also, I got this a while ago, but I thought I would toss it in here because I love it so much. It's from Chanel, so it's expensive. It broke my heart to buy it, but it's one thing that I've been wanting for years thanks to Jaclyn Hill. And I have no regrets. Like, honestly, it is gorgeous it is their cream bronzer looks like this mine's getting a little crappy and there's like brush hairs all in it but this stuff is honestly incredible it's so perfect for the summer it blends like a dream I'm wearing it right now but I've also been wearing my makeup for a couple hours so it might not look that good but I put it on my face before I put on any powder and it just blends in incredible it just gives you like a nice like bronzed goddess feel which I'm really pale so I like it really helps but it's so natural because it's not powder and I like it for the summer because it's not powder and it's just like cream on my face and melts right in blends like a dream makes you look bronze what else could you ask for in a product maybe for it to be cheaper because it's expensive but that's fine um also one thing that I got a little bit ago is the Maybelline Fit Me powder foundation I have their um liquid one and I like it a lot it's probably my favorite drugstore foundation but they came up with like a pressed powder form of it and so I recently got this to like use to like set my whole face because I just always use translucent powder I feel like translucent powder sometimes makes me look like ashy or like dull if I use it to set my whole face um so lately I've been using my translucent powder just to set under my eyes and I set my whole face with this if I set my whole face that day and I really like it. It just it doesn't really add that much more coverage, but it sets your whole powder down so your face isn't sticky, keeps it in place, it's matte, doesn't make me look powdery or cakey, which I really enjoy. Um, next, I got a Precisely My Brow from Benefit. I have their Goof Proof one that's more of like a diamondy shape. Um, this one is more of just like a pencil, really fine tip, um, similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Not definer. Brow Wiz. Similar to the Brow Wiz. I really like it. It's really good for making hair like strokes. And I have really thick eyebrows as it is. So I don't really need that much to fill in. It's more of just filling in the sparseness and um, kind of just shaping a little bit. So I'm really excited to try this one. Um, I am so excited to try this. I have been looking for a really good moisturizer that's not too thick. Because the last one I tried clogged up my pores so bad because it was too thick and I'm like still trying to recover um but everything I try is either like too heavy or too light and doesn't moisturize enough but I got a sample of this I used it once and I literally was like I need this in my life and then I went to Ulta and they had it so I was like amazed so excited it's called the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty um it's like oh it's not open yet. but it's super light almost jelly feeling um, it's kind of like a white color, but when you rub it, it feels like it melts into water, which sounds like weird because you're like, why did you pay money for water? But it just melts into your skin, sinks into your skin. It doesn't leave it feeling greasy or oily or thick. It seriously just melts in and you instantly feel like hydrated. It feels like you took a bath in moisturizing water. That's all I'm saying. I love it. I'm excited to see what that does for my skin. Next. This is the Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline. I think it was like 6 or $7, and it's amazing. Um, it's like a liquid highlight. I've been super into, like, liquids for the summer and, like, creams, hence, like, the cream bronzer. And then I go on with, like, a cream highlighter before I put my powder on top because I'm a highlighting queen. But 
like you can't my like my light is like straight up reflecting it way too much but like that's how banging it is it's amazing I really really like it um and I put that on my face before any of my powders and then I tap it with highlighter powder on top and you get something like that um this is something so I'm fair as can be I sunburn incredibly easily and it's horrible so I just recently accepted the fact that I can't be tan I just can't I'm a person that's gonna be pale probably my whole life you know what that's fine I'm gonna embrace it so I really started taking my skincare more seriously and taking care of my skin in general more. And I used to like love getting sunburned, like roasted and be like, yes, I'm going to get so tan. But really I'm in pain for three days and it doesn't go away. And then it just kind of like melts into nothing and I'm back to being pale as can be. So I'm really taking sunscreen more seriously. So every single day, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, I've been putting this on my face. It's just from Neutrogena. It's called Ultra Sheer. The reason why I like it, it's called dry touch, which is so true. It doesn't leave it really thick or greasy, which I've had another one before that really did do that. And I didn't like it. I couldn't wear it underneath makeup because my whole face would be like a grease ball. Um, but this one like really sinks in and dry. It's yeah, a dry sunscreen. It's really good. I like it. Check it out if you need a sunscreen to put underneath your makeup. This I am super excited for because I thought they got rid of it. This is the Becca Backlight Primer. It's a super pretty primer that adds like a lot of radiance underneath your makeup. Um, but they changed it to like this purple one. I'm running out of room. They changed it to like this purple one and I thought they got rid of this one, but me and my mom are just about to and they had it, which I'm excited for. So it's just a primer. It feels really good. It's like moisturizing, oops, but it's also just gives you that radiance. Like look at the difference. Like it is just gorgeous. And you put that underneath your makeup as a primer, um, makes your foundation go on better, makes any matte foundation look shinier, makes your skin look gorgeous. I'll wear that when I wear no foundation and I just look like, I'm just like, I'm a glowing goddess. So love that. I'm glad they have that, not the purple one anymore. Cause the purple one would look weird on its own. That one just looks like gold and beautiful. Um, another thing that I got from First Aid Beauty is this detox eye roller. I'm really excited because I've been using the same eye cream for a while. And I definitely notice a difference. Like, my eyes are a lot less puffy and a lot less dark, I guess. But, like, I still have, like, wrinkles. Still pretty dark. I don't know. But this one's called a Detox Eye Roller. And it's literally like a little roller. Roll under your eyes. It says use twice a day. So I'm going to use it at night before I go to bed and in the morning when I wake up. Um, I'm hoping it'll, like, depuff in the mornings and just kind of make my eyes look tighter and better and cooler and less, like, shat. Um, also, I got new, another um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This concealer is the best concealer of all time. I don't really care what anyone says. It's amazing. It is full coverage. It doesn't crease. Looks super natural. Has a lot of colors now, but I will say all the colors are either really yellow or really pink. So it's kind of hard to find a good color. So this is a color I haven't gotten before. This one's light neutral. Um, I've tried light, which is really light and kind of a pink undertone. I've tried light medium honey, which was too dark for me. So I'm hoping this one's like kind of in the middle. Um, this is a toner. It's called a pore reducing toner. It's from doTERRA. It's a, an essential oil company actually, but they do skincare too. I really like some of their stuff. This is one thing that I think has made my skin so much better. I'm a really porous, porous. I have a lot of pores. Um, they're really big all right in here and all my nose. They're always big. They always have been big. Um, it comes in two skins. It has lavender and some other stuff in it. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't dry out my skin. And I really have noticed a difference of my pores just being smaller. I think they're as small as they're going to get. I'm okay with that because they're a lot better than what they used to be. Um, this is from Maybelline. It's actually an eyeshadow. It's called Expert Eyewear. And this is in the color The Glow Down. But this, I've already had it for a while. But this is a highlighter. is gorgeous. Like, it's super gold and just, like, really blingy. But not, like while wow, that chick looks like she's wearing a streak of glitter on her face. Like, it's natural, but shows up. It's really good. I like it. I was wearing this before I put on the banging MAC one on top of it. But I really like it. Literally, I think it was $3.49 from the drugstore. So if you're looking into venturing into highlight, but you don't know where to start, or don't want to spend a lot of money, $3 at any drugstore, and it's great. All right. I tried this once last night. I'm in love already. 
I was like, you know how soft my hair is, everyone? Like, this thing was $6. This is a giant tub. And I used, like, the smallest amount when I used it. And it's a Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. So I took my shower, got out, put a little bit of my ends, like, up to here. You probably don't want to take it too high, otherwise it'll look really greasy. But I took it, like, up to here, combed through, and then just leave it in. Seriously, my hair was so soft. I can't wait to use this. It was $6. This is going to last me a year, I think. We'll see. Okay. Um, this is from NYX. It is a really good lip liner. I've tried other NYX lip liners, and I don't like them as much, but this one is like a wood one that you sharpen, and I love it. NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade Stockholm. A little too pinky. I'm going to go back and try to find more of like a brown nude one, but like they're really good. Like I literally think they're similar to the MAC wooden ones, just a little more dry, but like MAC lip liners are like 20 bucks. This was like five. You choose which one you prefer. I would choose the five dollar. Wow, I feel like I haven't been breathing for the last like 20 minutes. But I was just super excited to sit down and talk to you guys about some of these products that I got because I literally left Ulta like holding my bag like <laughs> like screaming so I was so excited. But yeah, I just thought I'd sit down and talk to you guys about some of the stuff that I bought today in case any of you were interested in some products that I like and that I'm excited to try. I'm hopefully going to be making a lot more videos in the future, so I'll let you know if I really like any of the new stuff that I bought. And hopefully you'll see some of the new stuff in upcoming videos that I might make. Let me know if there's anything you guys would like to specifically see. I'm just kind of starting out my channel. I'm just kind of going with the flow, trying out some new things. I don't know what I'm doing. I just love makeup and I would love to help you guys out and just have fun talking about girl stuff or boy stuff. I don't judge. I love it all, honestly. I genuinely get so excited just talking about makeup products. Like, it's ridiculous. It's kind of absurd. But that's all. All right, you guys. I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.